Hello everybody, it is Anna and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Bookshelf tour? Oh no! How many of those have I done? Zero actually because I haven't uploaded any. But I have three copies of like 20 minute videos of bookshelf tours. All of them that I thought were absolutely garbage. So hopefully I can do this one, make it quick, maybe make it 10 minutes and I will complete it and I will give it up to you guys just so that you can see what is on my bookshelf. Because I'm at a point where I think everything on my bookshelf, my bookshelf is going to stay the same for a while because I've got every single series that I, 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 I'm going to get into in the next five years um, unless it's unreleased and so you know you can see it all fantasy books all the Stephen King over there I will just be going through them very very quickly and I'll show you guys what I have so that if you want to see what I'm gonna be reviewing in the future go ahead and subscribe for that now as you can see I do have uh, fantasy at the top so you can see I'll just back off a little bit this is my shelf right this is where I film so I do film on some stuff in my bed right but two shelves right on the right side that's more of a Stephen King shelf and the left side is a very fantasy shelf most of what I, the stuff that I describe are from this part up. Everything at the bottom is just novels and stuff. So I'll start up here in the top left. Uh, you can see Wheel of Time, which I do intend on getting onto uh, fairly, fairly soon because of the TV series as well as the fact that it sounds pretty awesome. And then here we have Memory Sword of Thorn right up there, which is not going to happen very soon. Dark Tower, which I'm currently working on. I've completed six of them so far. And I'm working on this one next. This will come after Oathbringer and some other books, I believe, but very, very soon. Then we have this, which I don't intend on getting to anytime soon, unless I want to do a series review for this. Then we have Malazan, which I think is beautiful, so I put it down here there. And I've got every single Malazan book. That's just my Malazan shelf. It looks pretty awesome. I've got every single thing, and I plan on reading it fairly, fairly soon. Now down here, I can sit down. That's pretty nice. I do have Lord of the Rings at the side. As you can see, my favorite series because of the figurines, right? My favorite book of all time, if you don't know, is Silmarillion. Where is it? That's Silmarillion, right? There, yep. And I think it is the best book ever written in my life. So that's pretty awesome. Next we have A Song of Ice and Fire, which I will be getting to very, very, very soon. Like I say that multiple times, but this is the book series I'm getting to next. These two books, uh, Patrick Rothfuss, I absolutely love them. I adore them. I rated, I think I rated this one five stars, this one four stars. I think they're wonderful. Maze Runner, an old favorite of mine. I thought it was wonderful, but I stopped reading them now because they're done. And Stormlight, which I've, I've got the third book waiting right there. Right, so I'm working on that and then I'll be done very, very soon. Here we've got a bunch of normal books, right? So these are not very, very important books to me. On the left, we have a couple graphic novels that I don't really care about and some, some, you know, compilations and stuff by Ransom Briggs and some Joe Hill and then a bunch of, you know, Mal, what's his name? Brandon Sanderson stuff. Yeah, so this is all Brandon Sanderson and I don't intend on getting to this very, very soon, but it is on my TBR to be read fairly you know, I, I'm excited for this. I'm excited. I have read Mistborn. I haven't read these two. I might want to reread Mistborn before I go on, but who knows? Next, we've got a bunch of Neil Gaiman, who is one of my favorite authors. I think he's absolutely wonderful, and I've read only one of them, which is really... Oh, two of them, actually, uh, which is unfortunate because I'm really hyped up on this one, as well as these two specifically. Oh, I've also read... Yeah, I've also read Coraline, so that's three. Now, at this point, we have lighting problems. Uh, as you can see, it's just nothing very, very important. Uh, these are all kind of garbage books to me. Narnia is one of my all-time favorites. It's really, really good. I, I very much enjoyed it. These three are very important, though. I do want to spend a minute on those. Um, this is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu, and there is a fourth book, which I've already ordered, which is coming out soon, um, which is coming to us soon anyway, and I will be reading these three very, very, very soon, like like within a couple of weeks soon, like very soon, um, just because Air, my sister, if you know her, uh, really wanted me to read this. She, prom she made me promise that I would read these if um, if she if she read Stormlight, which she did read and she loved it, so I don't know why she's punishing me, but I will go for it. I'll read all four because they're very very short and it's not an issue. And then extreme lighting issues. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing too important except for John Green, which I who I love, I I really really respect and enjoy. Um, and then that's just the rest of it's just novels and garbage. So I'll move on then. At the top shelf, we have the Mahabharat. The top this is ten books uh, that I don't intend on getting to very very soon, but they are on my TBR for in the in the future. So. They will be coming eventually, but right now I want to get through fantasy before I go to university because that's kind of important. Um, next we have The Beginning of Stephen King. So I did order them so that they're slowing down, but I have read this. No, uh, this is the trilogy. I haven't read that. And then the rest of these I've read. Um, yeah, then from there it's about chronological, except for the sides, which are specifically taller books because I wanted to look nice. But after that, we have starting at Firestarter, very chronological order. Uh, most of the time, not always, to a bunch of short collections. Next, we have just the hardcovers, which are mostly chronological, except for these two who are, or sorry, just this, which is just a collection. 
and then oh wait it might be chronological as well i'm not sure but this is all chronological if i remember correctly and then down here we do have a collection and then two collections and then a bunch of stephen king books that i ordered because of hyped and you can go on you can see a bunch of paperbacks as well and then my classics row as you can see right here it is a tall row it's it's fairly tall it reaches to the top and then continues on that side um can't really see the names but i'll move on from there i have read uh, some of these, but not that many. You can see any that I've read on my channel. Next is the Rick Riordan shelf. This is, uh, I've read, I've read almost all of these. There's like four there that I haven't read, but this is a series that I grew up with. If you guys don't know, this was my Harry Potter. Um, I really enjoyed this series and Air really, really loves it as well. So if you, we, we do have a series review on it. Uh, it's about two years old, I believe one or two years old. You can check that out on our channel if you'd like. And, but this is kind of just there. Um, and down here we have the novels, which aren't very important, but starting at the left, we have a bunch of um, game stuff, you know, like Minecraft, as well as TV shows, Pokemon, I mean, it's, you know, Journal 3, Pokemon, stuff like that, a couple of non-fiction. Yep, and then we have some religious stuff right there, and then historical, scientific, stuff like that's just going on. So that's about it for that side. And for a six minute video, this isn't too bad, uh, just, that's, that's all I've got mainly. And it's just gonna be a short video that I can put out. I hope you guys do enjoy this, but this is everything that I have on my bookshelf. Everything I have here, I do plan to read, unless it's on the bottom row over there, or over there, unless I mentioned it specifically, as well as over there. Um, this is stuff that I've already read most of it. I might come out with reviews in the future for those, but I don't really know. And this stuff I, I, I'm gonna read for sure. Most of this stuff I'm gonna read, all of this I'm gonna read, all of that I'm gonna read, all of that, all of that, all of that, a ma vast majority of that. So that is my bookshelf. And I don't think I'm about to put this back, so I'm just gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this bookshelf tour, please do let us know in the comments down below. Uh, please do slap a like, or if you like my book selection, go ahead and subscribe because every book I read, I review 99% of the time. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what books you want me to prioritize in the comment section down below, as well as any books you think I should put onto the shelf, which I'll do if enough people say it, but you know, I, I'm not really thinking of it right now, but you can change my mind if you'd like to. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.